Hey guys, welcome to game two between Ash Dreamer and Crane. Upper right in corner we have Dreamer as the green Protoss. Upper left in corner we have Crane as the blue Protoss. Crane ended up getting uh, bushwhacked by... I think that it, really it's the fact that it was a proxy gate on top of everything else. Because it's not just that it was three gate. It was three gate and one of them was proxy. Which just let those zealots flood that base all the more rapidly. And it's hard enough to transition into Dragoon against just two gate pressure. Getting those Dragoons out, and also in like a, I don't know, a map with a ramp. Usually, it, I f and that can be the big difference too, I feel like. is just having that ramp where you can just, if you secure the ramp, you can have the Dragoons attacking with the Zelts underneath. When it's a big wide open map like Blue Storm like that, it's so difficult to defend. Anyway, we are now on game two. This is Polypoid, which is a four player map. So maybe, in theory, we'll see something more macro oriented from either player. Both players, a little bit of a weird drone dance initially from Dreamer delaying that initial pylon. Pylon now warping in. And again, yeah, be sure to check out Dreamer's, uh, Dreamer's stream. Dreamer wanting to do another deep dive into BSL. Coming, just falling in, uh, obviously Master Ray, the, the group to beat. It's kind of interesting because I feel like so many, this is the group of death for sure. I know it's an all Protoss group, but this is definitely the group of death. Gateway warping in for both players. Initial scout from Crane going to go to the bottom left. But this has like just all the stacked Protoss guys, right? All the ones who, uh, at least between Dreamer, Crane. I think Crane made it to the round of four last time, right? So you basically have three of the top. Oh, another two gate opener for Dreamer. Interesting. And th this is a little bit, this is much more. Oh, he, it's going to pay off though. Because Dreamer is going to be able to scout into Crane's base, upper left, right off the bat. Critically, uh, also Dreamer going to go for that Cybernetics Core before Initial Zealot. Which is going to make things a little bit more difficult. Transferring probes into gas. Cybernetics Core warping in. This could be fast either way. So this was very risky for Dreamer. Because it didn't have information. But it's going to pay off because that probe scout, first of all, going to come into, Dreamer's, into Crane's base as the first scouting location. But secondarily, also, Crane... His scout is going to be last inside Dreamer's base. The initial zealot also blockading that ramp. By the time this probe makes its way around, it's going to see what... It's going to know that there's two gate with that many zealots. But by then, the initial trap will be closed. It, it, by then, the zealots are going to be making their way across to fight this. And critically, this probe got up the ramp. And having a probe up the ramp in this sort of endeavor can be all the difference in the world. Can turn around, just be additionally annoying. So this is going to be superior production, close spawns, plus a probe to maybe do that initial breach. And also the Zealot is not trying to hold the ramp currently. Probe actually being annoying. Second probe coming off the line. Now this probe wanders in, sees the two-gate play. Dreamer is following this up with some gas. So it's possible we'll see Cybernetic Score and maybe even some cheese tech to follow. That probe, not a factor by the time these Zealots make their way across. But Dragoons, on the low ground... Going to breach this? Looks like the Zelt's going to be able to maybe wander straight up in. Three Zelts on top of that one Zealot. And the Dragoon at close proximity versus just three Zealots. Going to have some difficulty microwing the way across. Second Dragoon is going to be there momentarily. One of the Zelts has been taken out. But the other Zelt able to get on top of the probe line and do a lot of disruption in Crane's mining. Trying to work on that gas. We do see range also being upgraded. This is two, Zel two Dragoons. More Zelts flooding in. So this is now three Zealots. The probe's trying to deal with that one Zealot to the north. The other Dragoon's trying to micro. One Dragoon very, very low, but there is... Ooh, another Dragoon on the way. This is, unfortunately, looks like four and additional probe and attack probe in this grouping. Also on the mineral line. So Crane losing probes. Wasn't able to micro that initial Dragoon. Ended up losing it. And yeah, that's going to be GG. Well played by Dreamer. Good pressure. Uh, unfortunate. And really, I almost feel like that's like a scouting win, practically. Um, so Dreamer very rapidly taking down Crane. And we will see Dreamer in the winner's match versus Master Ray, so a rematch of the finals from last season. And we will see Crane and uh, Nilsi going on to the loser's match, which I will at least do game one of the winner's match here momentarily for the, the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.